so you're gonna help. Well, I hope so. Um, so where do we begin? <laughs> Not like that. Uh, I could never do that to Rick, I'm sorry. I don't understand. Jeremy, you're grieving. <sighs> you think I don't know that? No, I just think maybe that's what you should focus on right now, instead of Rick. He's a bereavement counsellor. Comes highly recommended. OK, um, my mum's dead, and no amount of counselling is going to bring her back. Making sure the man responsible for her death is held accountable is all I have. Do you not understand that? I just think sometimes grief can be very powerful and it can make people do things that aren't helpful or healthy and you don't even know that it's Rick's fault. Of course I do. Like, how can you be so naive? OK, I'm going to go. Look, Donna, listen to me. Please, let go. Please. You're hurting me. Look, I need you by my side. Do you not understand? Jeremy, let go of you me. You said you would help Jeremy, Donna. Let her go right now. Right now. <laughs> You see, when this is all over, you're going to see Rick Griffin for what he really is. A fraud. A killer. You don't have the first clue about Rick or what it takes to do this job. You have no idea. Jerry. The sacrifices that we make, the pressure day after day and what that does to you. And yet we still carry on. We still come back to help people just like you. Oh, do you want sympathy? No, I want you out of here. <laughs> you Jack, don't! This woman threatened me. Get out of the hospital. Big mistake. 